Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. This video will demonstrate a field screening test for nitrate in corn or sorghum stalks. Warning, the test solution is a concentrated sulfuric acid solution. Wear gloves when performing this test. If the solution comes in contact with your skin, make sure to flush the area sufficiently with water. If baking soda is available, a paste can be made to apply to the affected area to neutralize the acid. After using the test solution on the plant, make sure to not come in contact with the area where the test solution was applied. The plant material with the test solution applied should be disposed of properly and not be used for feeding. The diphenylamine field test is a quick test for the presence or absence of nitrate in plant material. As with any field test method, this test should be used only as a screening tool. A representative sample of plants should be tested to identify the nitrate concentration of the field. Any positive test should be followed up with a laboratory analysis for quantification. To begin, split the stock longitudinally the full length of the plant. Place a drop of diphenylamine solution on the stock at 6 to 12 inch intervals. As you apply this reagent on the freshly split stem, be careful not to touch the dropper to the corn stock. If a dark blue or purple color develops immediately, nitrate is present. If there is no immediate color change, there is no nitrate at this area. A yellow-brown color will eventually develop if the reagent remains on the plant tissue for an extended time, and nitrate is not present. This method of testing will enable you to determine how high up on the stock the nitrate has accumulated. This allows you to estimate how far above the ground the plant should be cut to reduce the likelihood of elevated nitrates in harvested livestock feed. Remember, the diphenylamine field test indicates only the presence or absence of nitrate. This solution will indicate the presence of nitrate at a detection limit of approximately 2,000 parts per million. The rate of color change and in intensity indicates higher levels. If your field test yields a positive result, please submit a one pound, well mixed representative sample of your silage, green chop, or hay to our lab for quantification. Guidelines for nitrate levels in cattle feed are as follows. One to 5,000 parts per million is safe for all classes of livestock. 5 to 10,000 parts per million is not safe for pregnant cows, and 10,000 parts per million and above can cause acute nitrate toxicity in livestock. KSVDL offers free diphenylamine samples, but because shipping is not permitted, you must come to the lab to pick it up. If you have questions about this video or any of our other services, please contact Client Care.